Hey there guys, this is ATH Shadow Angel here once again. Uh, so it's been a while since I've, um, I suppose, done any model, models or miniatures and uh, things like that. It's just been proper crazy busy lately. <laughs> um, but uh, as I, oh, as I've seen announced on the uh, Facebook page that I would be doing uh, part two of obviously Big Man himself, Vulcan, and. Now that I've finally found a green uh, paint scheme that I like, uh, I shall be uh, doing and painting him over the next uh, week or so. Uh, so hopefully, all going well uh, and things like that, hopefully there will be a part three within the next couple of weeks, uh, as it takes me a couple of weeks to paint the Primark models. Um, I'm also thinking of doing a tutorial on uh, the green armour as well because uh, it's something a bit new for me at least and uh, I know it's something uh, that obviously people who use GW colours I think have asked me uh, to do so I'll be do I'll hopefully be trying to fit in a uh, like I say a green painting green armour or a form of green armour uh, somewhere down the line but anyway, enough of that. That's future referencing and stuff like that. So we shall leave that alone. Um, so what we have here, obviously, is the um, finished build of uh, Vulcan. And uh, before you can even really see this thing in detail, it is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I mean, all the debris on the base, uh, the two guys who have been caught under it, um, and just the, the just the picture this the model actually creates because I mean um, in, I know other channels have already done Vulcan and have shown the model off and things like that um, but for me it's the case of I didn't realise how, how much detail um, was in this bit and on the stairs which I'll show you in a bit but you really get that sense that Vulcan has just come crashing through a wall. <laughs> Um, to kind of catch these two unaware and it's absolutely brilliant and it kind of for me it kind of fits that image that you kind of get of Primarchs that uh, they are effectively just these massive battle tanks of soldiers who just wade through uh, you know the, the, some of the worst situations of war and things like that and these are just this embodiment of something that goes far and beyond uh i mean i think each prime you know I, it's what i love about the primarchs uh in the models in that forge world of kind of cr try to create something unique about each one well obviously trying to keep that sense of what the, the primarchs are meant to be uh but anyway uh so let's have a bit of a closer look so once again, Forge World have done an absolutely stunning job with this model uh, in terms of the way it goes together. Uh, didn't find a lot of fiddly bits on it. Uh, there was only two, but only from my personal preference, one of which was uh, the gun. Uh, it's not clear where it's meant to go or um, things like that, so I've kind of tucked the uh, strap that holds it on just underneath the uh, plate in there but trying to make sure it stays out of the way of his leg and things like that so you can just make it out just there so it kind of hangs on uh, the other one was the shoulder pad uh, with the uh, dragon skull up on the top uh, namely because the way the arm fits in and sits in the joint just there, uh, it creates like a small pin just on the top, which is, comes on the thing just on the bottom of the uh, the shoulder, so, uh, shoulder plate, and it all kind of fits in there. Uh, but they are quite snug fit. Uh, once you get them in, they sit there perfectly. So uh, I can't complain too much. They're not they're not big thing, you know. They're not what I'd call big queries or qualms or however you want to pronounce it. So. Uh, but other than that, it goes together really, really nicely, and 
everything. So, if I spin this round, so here you can see a bit more of the detailing in the wall. Um, so you can see all the uh, the rods and stuff sticking up out the wall, uh, and obviously, like I say, you get that sense of the rubble coming down. Um, I love. I don't know why. I love it from. The, I love looking at this model from this uh, this angle. Uh, Vulcan staring down at the down guard. You know the down legionnaire. Hammer raised, and it's just that captured image of this guy's in a lot of trouble. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's absolutely stunning. Um, so one of the other things as well uh, is. As with pretty much all the Primark models, I think I've had, uh, I've had to do a bit of gap filling, just on the like back and edge or that the models. Uh, but that's just nothing much. It's just a quick fill, really easy to do. Um, and so yeah, so <sighs> it's just so much I could go on. Um, uh, so yeah, so. You get the cape, uh, obviously. Um, now the way I found uh, the easiest way to do this is to do, because obviously this back bit here is all three pieces, so you'll have this ornamental bit at the top, and then the backpack, then the uh, dragon scales. Um, now the way I kind of found uh, found the easy, well, the way I did it was uh, put this up on the top first, then did the dragon cape then put the backpack uh, before the arms uh, because the dragon cape actually goes up and kind of sits just up on that one goes right up onto the shoulder pretty much right up onto the shoulder and that one sits just below it uh, and I looked at it when I was dry fitting it and I found that the arm putting the arms on before the cape would be ridiculous uh, so I would suggest doing the back cape and stuff, fixing that on before you do the arms. But obviously, it's your model, and you can do whatever you want with it. Um, and so, I don't really know if there's anything more I can really say on it. Really, uh, I mean, apart from obviously, once again, bringing the mod, the Primark model together, uh, just makes all that detail look absolutely stunning. But yeah apart from that it is you know it's just oh beautiful absolutely beautiful and i can't wait to uh slap some color on this guy and get him up and painted and to join uh the other guys um in which i'll talk about a bit more of how he compares with the others and his size different you know size comparisons and stuff like that um and so yeah there you go guys uh sorry i'm rambling on a bit it's uh been a bit of a while since i've done this and i've got quite a few ideas that i want to do um i suppose following on with this so um so there you go guys uh like i say it's quick ish uh <laughs> kind of talk about the build uh and things like that um as always if you have any questions or you know anything like that then please feel free to drop a comment down below uh, or drop us a message over on the Facebook page or uh, oh God, it's, or things like that um, obviously I'll be uh, keeping all my work in progress stuff over on the Facebook and my Instagram page uh, and things like that so hopefully I can uh, keep up keep up with it and um over the next couple well over the next month i believe uh i'm hoping to start building on my tyranid army again because uh, obviously with all the new bug stuff that's coming out at the moment and leading up to the uh shield of baal uh campaign i uh, i as you might guess i am very much uh enjoy <laughs> waiting to see uh, just what's around the corner for both Tyranids and potentially Blood Angels, um, which is pretty, you know, the campaign's called the Shield of Bowl, so uh, you can guarantee I'll do a lot of reviews and stuff on that. Uh, also, the uh, Blood Angel Codex as well, when that's released. 
and all things stuff like that because that's me um so yeah so thank you again guys uh thank you very much for all the new subscribers uh which i've uh, noticed the other day so thank you very much for uh subscribing uh thank you for for the continued views likes uh comments uh likes over on the facebook page um thank you for the people who've got in contact with me over on like say on uh instagram uh just search ATH shadow angel and you should be able to find me um and yeah uh so thank you very much guys um keeps me going thank you and i shall catch you again next time uh hopefully with something buggy i think is what i'm planning to do um so yeah catch you later guys Cheers.